for the last few weeks but found myself busy with the fence in our backyard. Winter is always rough. Last week a storm came through and knocked the maple out front over. Haven't seen winds like that in years. Peter's truck was parked under it. The insurance company says they'll cover the damages. You remember that old maple in front of the Salter's place? Stamped like a twig. Salter boy is about five or six and had a small fort built just inside the fence along the trunk of the tree. I saw Mrs. Salter explaining what happened to the boy this morning. Kid looked upset. Must have lost some toys under there. I hope you're doing great, nephew. Stay warm. Wish I had some sunshine up this way. Gray as ever out here, my boy. And just as cold, too. My best and lots of love. Uncle Mike.
Nephew, I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to get a new set of golf clubs. Funny thing is the other day, Miss Salter came over with Mr. Salter's clubs. You can imagine my surprise to see those gleaming new titanium rods sitting in that leather bag. I tried to reason with the lady, but she insisted. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I was worried Mr. Salter might be more than a little upset, but it's as if he couldn't be bothered. I saw him this morning and didn't mention a thing. He said hello and went to his car. She's been spending a lot of time with your aunt, Miss Salter, that is. I asked Auntie why she's been coming over so often. She gave me the same look as when Cousin Janie was pregnant. I know better than to go deeper or ask any more questions. Lady business is lady business. You know how your aunt could be. I think they might be having some problems. Seems like they're is for a few days, then gone. I don't usually notice these things. You know, I like to mind my own business. It's better that way. I wouldn't have mentioned it. My wife wouldn't have been coming over so often lately. Anyway, keep your nose clean, nephew. You're in a wild land, far away from home. I remember my first days away from home. Tough times. Speaking of which, Salter boy, his name is Jeremy. He seems to enjoy hanging out there. Nice kid, good manners. He pokes his head into my TV room from time to time and says, pardon, Mr. Mike, it's how he asked to watch TV. And while we're on the subject of TV, what's going on there? I saw that Trump was running for president. It's a joke, right? I remember watching the fights on television in the 80s. He was always in the ring next to the other weird guy. King, yeah, the one with the hair. As always, we miss you and hope you're finding solid ground under your feet. Send it love, Uncle Mike. the river people playing in the riverbed, crossing, showering, everyday stuff. But you never consider yourself 
one of them, right? But now you just been out just in the water doing nothing. You even washed your face. Okay? Feels kind of good to wash your face out in the open. You ain't got to lie, the Joe soap and all of this. Yeah, cold water and mother nature. That's crazy. But you feel so much cleaner, don't you? That's what, that's what, that's what. The media don't tell you. The media tells you about the bridge, this bridge has got cancer, it's rotting, all this, we need to rebuild it. You see all the life down here? You see all Mother Nature? Not only do people have homes here, the ducks here, this is the mating grounds. We have two kids down here, we have pelicans, we have these little hummingbirds. We have fish in this water, okay? You take our reservoir away. We'll obviously lose our life. great summer so far. We drove up the highway to see the new cottage. The new place is right on the water. It's called Hockstone. It's got a dock for the little fishing boat. We had good times in that boat. I'm missing the old place. Home is always like that. It gives you a reference point or marker in the sand out there in this crazy world. If you're lucky, you get to spend your time with good people. People love you. That's what I'm hoping for you. You'll find whatever it is you're looking for out there and get that feeling locked into yourself. The Salters have split up. Mrs. Salter was beside herself. I felt bad for her, but anyone on the outside could see where it was heading. All that coming and going he was doing, I'm surprised she didn't take the kid and hightail it earlier. My heart goes out to the boy. Every boy should have his father. Anyway, she's here all the time and the boy, well, 
I've come out of retirement. I've got him learning notes and working on his scales. Had to dive in and give the old keys a wake-up call. Took all Wednesday morning to get them humming the right way again. Sounds pretty good. I really hope you're doing well, nephew, and not working too hard. I know how hard it is to be on your own in a strange place. Keep your head up. You take care, nephew. All my love, Uncle Mike. Jojo, 最近好吗？很抱歉这么晚才给您回信。这里的生活非常的忙碌。我在这里一切都很好。最近搬了家，是因为之前的房租贵得要命。刚来时的第一个住所是在城市里比较繁忙的旅游区，在那里，不是担心被人抢劫，就是烦有人向我卖东西。就像您常说的，无时无刻都有人在卖东西。我很珍惜您的来信，在这里生活，不时都会感到孤单。我尽量的让自己保持乐观的态度。这里的人来来往往的，感觉上都各自在忙各自的生活。那是一种必须要亲身体会才能理解的感觉。我在一个聚会里认识了一个摄影师，他一口气也不回地对我说他自己，我连介绍自己的机会都没有。大部分的时候，我感觉自己只是个旁观者。每个人都是在策划他自己下一个去处。帮我和舅妈和爸妈问好，告诉 Peter， 我对那卡车的事情感到抱歉。希望你一切都很好，更希望我们很快就能重聚。P.S. 我会尽量弹音乐，那是我生活的一股动力
months had been real hard, you know. We decided to move into the cottage and sell the house. Just easier living this way. It's hard with so many memories locked up in there. Leaving, that is. You know, nephew, it's kind of like sometimes a thing becomes extension of yourself. More than just a house. It breathes and smells like a part of you. It reminds you that you belong somewhere while you've been away. Ah, now look what you got me doing, kid. I'm all sentimental. It's just that that whole place has so many memories and laughs. Good times, you know what I mean? Coming home and it's easy. It's the leaving that stays. Auntie says Mrs. Salter packed it up and moved herself and her boy in with her parents. You still noodling around? Or are you taking a break? Wish you were here, kid. Fishing won't be the same without you. Talk soon. Uncle Mike.